What's up guys, I'm here with Amanda. She lost her GoPro yesterday out surfing, so we're gonna go search for it. Um, what happened when you lost it? It just fell off. It came like a lot of waves and it just fell off. Okay, so we're gonna go out there and try to find it. She said she lost it at this popular surf break nearby. Hopefully we don't get run over. That's gonna be a big challenge out here. So the main idea is to not get hurt. Maybe we'll find someone else's GoPro, a watch, a, a phone, a drone, who knows? You never know out here. Uh, but hopefully we find that GoPro Hero 7 that Amanda lost because I'll be sick to return it, get it back to you. So let's get out there. Hopefully we don't get run over, like I said. Go find some stuff. The water's very murky. I can barely see you from here. So hopefully when we get out there, it's more clear. Nice. <laughs> this is like too big for me to keep. I'm going to leave it, but this thing I can put in my pocket. Nice job. What was that, Yad? <laughs> was someone trying to steal something? Oh my goodness, what did they do to it? Wow. Okay, I've never found one of these in the ocean, so that's pretty cool. Nice, more clear out here. We actually have a chance. So it's really funny looking back at this footage because as I look at it, I'm like, <laughs> this water is not clear. What was I thinking? But it was seriously so murky on the inside that now that I'm here, I'm like, oh, wow, I can actually see something. Did you lose it while you were paddling out or after you took a wave? Okay. Okay. So it's probably out by the peak. Were you like further outside or kind of inside? Okay. Cause you're more of a beginner. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So the information that she gave me can be helpful, but it really means nothing because so much can move around even in a day that you really have no idea where this GoPro could have ended up. So I just keep looking, paddle around. Finally, I found something, but it was just this Costco card or like a piece of it. And then right next to it, I found these Googles that were stuck in the reef. I almost thought I wasn't going to be able to get them, but luckily my pullout game strong today, unlike that one time. Don't worry about that. And uh, yeah, so Costco card and goggles. And then this is basically my strategy is like, look, 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 check that I'm not getting run over. And then, okay, no waves coming back to looking. So I have to do that the whole time. Hey, let's go. And then I found this thing. I thought I got an Apple watch. It's like a hotel thing that looks like an Apple watch. This would be where we'd find GoPros though, for sure. Yeah. Just really hard to look here because you have to be always looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah you feel okay? Yeah. Okay, cool. So I definitely don't want her to be in danger. Just found a bracelet. I was like, let's go. That's kind of nice. And yeah, this is what it was like being in the impact zone and really did not want her to get hurt. She's actually a pretty strong swimmer. I was impressed being from Norway. continue to look around trying to find the stuff in between the sets trying to look along like the edge of the reef right there see where the sand meets the reef that's usually where i find things but one of the times that i found a gopro was just literally on top of the reef so who knows and then i found these sunglasses and we found like this little spot that kind of had some more stuff so here's like a, a plastic cup and i'm like really thinking this is where i could find something So this is the spot right here. It's like one of the spots I just found these two things like right next to each other. So this is where the GoPro could have like drifted to. Yeah. yeah, so take a look around here and then we'll keep going and find another one. So then Amanda found this like stick thing with a string on it and I was like, here, let me help you with that. And actually the GoPro on my head died. It got turned on in the car somehow. So the battery ran out really quick. And uh, so my filming wasn't the best moving forward. Luckily I had a second GoPro to even film anything. and. Amanda was killing it. She found so much stuff and this thing looked mm. disgusting. So I was really afraid to touch it, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take care of all that. And then I found this like mask from COVID times and I was like, people still wear those? And this big sticker from a bodyboard or something. I think you shouldn't put stickers on your bodyboard. It doesn't go so well. And then this mask, it said something. So I wanted to see what it said. It said, human milk saves lives. And I'm like, yeah, uh, okay. Like for, for babies or for adults too? Cause I don't know about human milk for everyone. Just, just babies. And then I found the string. There is a lot 
lot of stuff here. And then I found this sock buried in the sand. Sock gang strikes again. Probably stole the GoPro and that's why I can't find it. And then I saw this sparkling in the bottom. I thought for sure I found the GoPro. It ended up being a freaking soda can. So depressing. Then I found this little piece of plastic. We tried our best out here guys. Didn't have any luck. Got some, uh, got some trash. You guys saw all the stuff that we picked up out here. Amanda actually killed it. She picked up a lot of trash. Good job, Amanda. Yeah, so we weren't able to find the GoPro, but I uh, still wanted to make a video just because of all that trash that we found. So at least we got to clean the ocean today and get out here for this beautiful sunset. And uh, maybe someone else will find her GoPro. So if you do find a GoPro Hero 7 out here at Waikiki, contact me. I'll contact Amanda. We'll get it back to her. Okay, thanks for watching. That's all the stuff we saw. Bye.